Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to today's Ahsoka trailer breakdown. Now, if you want to watch the live coverage of this breakdown and my reaction to it the first time the trailer came out, I did a live stream earlier well, yesterday, I guess. Now it's about 6 a.m. But here is my breakdown of my interpretation of what I think is going on in this two minutes that we get. And there's quite a bit. So, of course, there's an Imperial ship here chasing a Republic ship. War is inevitable. War is inevitable. Balin is the main antagonist in this story, or at least until we see Thrawn. And it seems like he's kind of a, you know, general, like a soldier of Thrawn. He's loyal to Thrawn, in my opinion. That's what I think. Some of the leaks purport that he is, you know, loyal to Thrawn and he's trying to find the world between worlds. But yeah, those are leaks. I don't really know how accurate those are. It could just be theories being pushed off as leaks. One must destroy. So Balin says that one must destroy, and this is obviously, you know, a very Sith-like thing to say. Now, I don't think Balin is a Sith. I think their orange lightsaber is indicative of them being somewhat in the light side, but, you know, a little more engulfed into the darkness. Kind of like Mace had his purple, which is red and blue. They have yellow and red, which pushes them a little more into the darkness. Also, apparently, Balin is a survivor of Order 66 along with his apprentice. Boy. So something interesting going on here, clearly he's the one that's firing at these guys, but he doesn't have a blaster that I know of. He's just using his lightsaber. So I think what's happening is they're shooting these blaster bolts at him and he is freezing them in midair and then and then firing them back at these guys, at the, the rebel troops with immense force because they're clearly just getting dusted. Boy, in order to create cool little A-wing here in the back. We have some rebel troops once again, and it looks like they're guarding something that he's trying to get into. It could be a key, it could be a map, I don't really know. We are no Jedi. Just mercilessly, mercilessly kill this guy. Red Lucasfilm logo. Whispers of Thrawn's so I'm getting a vibe already. This is a lot of this is very ancient, it's very old. And we see this from, you know, obviously the, a lot of the stone that we see in the trailer in the last few trailers too. And it gives me this vibe that we're going to be entering a time or rather a story in this Ahsoka story that takes us into a much older time of maybe the Jedi or the Force. Of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. Once again, very old, ancient, and I think this is some sort of a key. I think what they're gonna do here is they're gonna pop up some hologram and they'll be able to properly see the coordinates of things because they have coordinates here on these pillars. So here as well, they'll be able to, once they put the whole thing all together, and maybe that's what they were looking for, was this hologram map key, they'll be able to find the proper coordinates to the world between worlds, is my guess. What happens when we find Thrawn? Power. Right, so here it is. This thing is going up, and you see these inscriptions right here. I believe these will coincide with the map that they're probably putting up. Such as you've never dreamed. So something interesting about his apprentice, her last name is Hattie, and his last name is Skull, Balin Skull, and I forgot the first name, but her last name is Hattie. Skull and Hattie, uh, from playing God of War, I realize that these are two wolves that are chasing the sun and moon, and it's kind of like the renewal of life, like life is coming to an end and they're going to start a new thing. Era, of course. <laughs> That's why I'm trying. Chopper, of course. Trying to convince you. And uh, right there, we had Mon Mothma. Prevent another one. Right here, Mon Mothma. She's definitely aged a little bit since Andor, obviously. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's still just as stubborn as ever. Yeah. I bet your master found you difficult at times. The colorful hair, because she is very artsy. Anakin never got to finish my training. So right here she says, Anakin never got to finish my training. And of course this is because she, well, she walked away from the Jedi. I walked away from him, just like I walked away from Sabine. And so we're seeing a bit of a pattern here that she's walking away from certain people in certain situations. And this is showing some introspection, and I believe this will further push her character arc and develop it even more in this show. You never made things easy for me. Master. Kind of weird how she calls her master. I don't think Sabine has the force. I don't think they're going to give Sabine the force. I like the idea of her being a Mandalorian. But if they are going to give her the force, I mean, I just feel like that's, yeah, no. But master, maybe, you know, Ahsoka is training her in the ways to use a lightsaber 
or just training her. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. So right there, she's looking at an old hologram of Ezra. Now, at this point, we don't know where Ezra is. He's still somewhere in the unknown regions. Thrawn is obviously alive and well, so it makes you wonder, where's Ezra? Is he evil now? Is he good? Is he lost? Is he dead? Is he alive? But I'm counting on you to see this through. Very samurai-esque when she cuts her hair. Nice haircut. Which was a major inspiration for George Lucas to make Star Wars. Sometimes. So here she's fighting, I think, you know, some inquisitors, or of course, but I believe also this one's just a guard of the place that she's trying to get to. This is some sort of a yard, a Kuat drive yard kind of thing, like they're building ships or dismantling ships. And we know that Elsbeth is the owner of a ship dismantling factory. So I believe she's on a hunt to find Elsbeth and finding Elsbeth will help her find maybe Thrawn. Sometimes we have to do what's right. Regardless. Reminds me, of course, of Rebels and it reminds me of the Mortis arc, of course, from Clone Wars, which we also saw the mural in Rebels. I hope we get to maybe enter a little bit of that. Uh, the son of Mortis, the father, the daughter, maybe even the mother. If we go super legends. Regardless of our personal. And for those who don't know the son, the father and the daughter, you don't watch the Clone Wars. They're essentially like so Anakin and Obi-Wan and Ahsoka were traveling through the galaxy and they got sort of sucked into this unknown area. It's kind of like a Bermuda Triangle. And they enter this planet and they find out that there are these gods there, the father, the son, and the daughter. The father is like the balance of the force. The daughter is the embodiment of the light side and the son is embodiment of the dark side. A lot of really cool, creepy stuff happens there. And I definitely implore you to go watch those episodes. Feelings. So these whales are actually the Purgle. The Purgle we saw in the end, at the end of Rebels, and they actually saved Ezra. So they took Ezra and they took Thrawn into hyperspace. They can travel through hyperspace just organically. And they were able to take them to some other unknown destination that we don't know about. And I'm guessing that Ahsoka maybe found them again. And she's going to maybe try to talk to them or learn from them. And then we can find Ezra from there. Buckle up. If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. A dude looking a little like Elon Musk right now. You have. So I guess they fight. They go head to head. Um, I'm not really sure how she even goes toe to toe because I feel like she is much more experienced with the Force and a lightsaber. But I mean, Sabine is a Mandalorian, so. You never know. No power. Anakin spoke highly of you. So we hear Vader's breathing right there. And of course, this is probably just a fun little thing that they put into the trailer. But if we go back. Spoke highly of you. You can hear it right there. Now, Balin knows Anakin as he was, in my opinion. I believe, I believe those certain leaks that he was a Jedi. And uh, during Order 66, obviously, he escaped somehow. We don't know how. Maybe we'll learn. Maybe we'll see a flashback of some sorts. But the fact that he knows Anakin is pretty cool. He knew Anakin in the time when Ahsoka left. And then, of course, before Order 66. So um, they must have had some sort of a relationship where Anakin would have opened up about Ahsoka to him. So I wonder who is this guy to Anakin unless he's just hearing it and passing from Anakin. They're fighting in this temple place where, you know, I believe that they're going to find a map. Uh, that will lead to the world between worlds. And I, th I don't think this is the world between worlds itself. This is just a hologram. And I think that these pillars, these ancient pillars, are going to be connecting to the map itself and giving them the coordinates they need. I'm not here to discuss my past. It looks like she's running outside of the world between worlds. It looks like she just left. I'm thinking, you know, the, the original trailer was she went here. She did, she battled the droids, the guards. She dropped her two sabers in the ground, twirled them, fell through the hole, and went into her journey of the world between worlds, is my guess. And now she's leaving, and this is that the aftermath of that. Someone is blowing it up for some reason. It's exploding, and maybe she destroyed the world between worlds entirely. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. This is Hu Yang. He was the 
droid that instructed younglings on lightsaber construction back in the Clone Wars. I've a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. This Inquisitor, I think is personally, I believe is Barriss Offy. And I think we're going to get a big twist at the end when she takes off her helmet and we see that it's Barriss. And this is significant because Barriss was the one who set Ahsoka up and had her almost imprisoned by the Jedi, by the Senate until, of course, it was revealed that Ahsoka was innocent. <laughs> Two episode premiere coming August 23rd. It's going to be a big watch party night. I hope you guys are excited and I can't wait to see this show. I think this show is going to be what puts Star Wars back on the map. I'm very hopeful. I'm a big fan of Dave Filoni and I think he is the only one competent enough to continue Star Wars in George Lucas's vision. Let me know what you think about this. I hope you're excited for the show and I hope to see you guys at the watch party. Until the next episode, remember the force will be with you always.